Hi guys, my name is Yolita Brilliant. I have a spa in Burlington, Vermont. I'm a massage therapist, esthetician, and makeup artist. And today I'm going to react to Riverdale Smadeline Patch reveals her 38 step skincare routine. This is going to be Madeline Patch. You may know me from CW's Riverdale as Cheryl Blossom and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my beauty secrets for a day full of meetings. So this is a little weird but I always travel with a candle. I just feel like it makes me feel like I'm more at home. I'm in hotels a lot of my life. But we're gonna light this baby up and I like to take my time. If that means I have to take two extra hours in the morning, I'm gonna do it. I just want to take my time and feel no stress. Okay so first I need to put my hair up. One of my little secrets, one, I love tools. Tools is my favorite thing on the planet. I use so many beauty tools. So first one is this really cool little like ice ball thing. I put it in an ice bucket today, but I usually keep it in my freezer and it just kind of depuffs my face. If you don't have one of these at home, I just recommend sticking your face in an ice bucket for 20 seconds, literally, that's it. Definitely started to take care of my skin when I booked the show. I feel like when you're on camera all the time and people are just like looking at all of your pores, it's nice to make sure you're taking care of it to the best of your ability. Okay, this is just right off the bat already. Very, looks like a lot of work, pretty high maintenance, but you know, if she really does this almost every day, or I don't know, every day, props to you, but who has two hours every day to do skincare routine? Maybe some people do, but no, it's good to deep up, cool, it's good, you don't want to heat the skin, that's absolutely very nice so let's keep watching and candle is a nice touch but it has fragrance in it which is not always the best thing for you although like breakouts and stuff you really can't control who cares we all get breakouts when your cheeks are sufficiently frozen this step is complete it's a very nice way to wake up especially if you do the ice method big fan big fan my face is very puffy in the morning, so ice has always been a thing. Next, I have my elderberry soothing toner from Renee Rouleau and these cute little cloths she makes for it. I'm obsessed. They're so soft. They're much softer than cotton rounds, which is why I love them. I'm not sure. Well, you kind of you can control the breakouts a little bit if you're doing proper routine. If you're using proper products. You can reduce them. I mean, you can probably absolutely get rid of them if it's like systemic hormonal, but you can do a lot like with benzoyl peroxide, with retinol. Uh, I don't know what is this particular product that she's using. But let's keep one. I use this all the time. It's soothing and my skin gets very red, as you can see, so this is really nice. I have this cute little tool from Sisley that I use for under my eyes and this cream. The large majority of my check-in suitcase was just beauty tools. Next I go in with my vitamin C serum, and I said vitamin because I get made fun of for saying vitamin on set, which is fun, so just a couple of drops of this bad boy. I definitely think my skin has changed since being on the show. I mean, when people touch your face 24-7, it's really hard to not break out. However, I've started doing my own makeup on the show, and that's really changed my Vitamin C is great. It's going to be brightening the skin. It's going to be, you know, giving even skin tone. It's antioxidants for sun damage. Great product. Skin. Because I can control what's going on it and whatnot. Next step, and most important step, is sunscreen. I don't use too much, just like a little. What would you call that? A pea sized amount? Cheryl's makeup look has definitely evolved over the years. I feel like. In the beginning, it was very heavy, which is why my skin broke out all the time. I had some pretty bad cystic acne in season one. I change her makeup according to what's going on in the scene and what her mood is. It feels more like something she would actually do, like she's an extra girl. And so it's nice to be able to incorporate her makeup, which is something she would absolutely do into what the scene, what's going on in the scene and what her mood is. I really like doing that. This is a little bit of moisturizer. I just got a little pea size amount right there. This is the... Sunscreen is definitely absolutely the most important skincare item you could do. I totally agree with her. Moisturizer is very important too. Uh, now, I've never seen the show and I'm curious to see, but wearing a lot of makeup and depends what kind of makeup can be really hard on your skin. That's why I use Jane Ardell foundation. I'm really picky what kind of foundations and face products I use. I'm not as picky with eyeshadows, but 
you know you're covering all these pores on your face that's what I'm really picky that it's doesn't gonna be too heavy not comedogenic not gonna have weird ingredients that's gonna cause the allergies and stuff like that so that's important to look into uh, water cream from Tatcha I love it don't forget your neck I forgot my neck don't forget your neck it's such an important part this is the new face. We learned from Paris Hilton skincare team that you have to do even the back of your neck. Well, you don't have to, but great to do. And decollete and everything. Very important. Now she's wearing a necklace there, so maybe it's hard to, you know, reach to there. But if you do all the neck, don't forget to do that. Now I'm see, seeing she's doing microcurrent next, which is great. I personally use it. Sometimes I'm a little lazy to do it, but it definitely works. If you're consistent with it, it's going to kind of stimulate those muscles like tense therapy electromagnetic current it's going to firm and lift muscles without a botox but you gotta be consistent with it face i think it's called the new face pro and it's like two little prongs if you see they go right over my cheekbone and it kind of just sculpts i mean even you can see here how that line is there but it's not on this side just from those three times i've done it if i don't have face cream on it shocks my face so it's highly important to have your face cream on um, I usually have it at like a medium level and I do seven times on each side and then I go down to my well you actually have to use a specific gel which has electrolytes in it or you can use um, Estee Max like hydro jelly products that some of the like ampoules actually have these there these are already um, with electrolytes that they're conductive to uh, microcurrent the reason why it shocks because it bounces off your skin so it's not doing its job so it's important to have gel that has electrolytes in it that new face makes this particular brand because otherwise you're not I don't know if the cream actually is the best thing as a conductor if it doesn't have electrolytes it's not going to be as effective with the new face I use it on the max the reason why she's using using a medium maybe because she doesn't have the proper conductor so i recommend really using higher you know voltage because you'll have better results Chin. let's get to the lips exfoliating your lips is so important especially for like the plumpness and the size of your lips i love this little it's like a really cute this little lip scrubber thing i think it's nurse jamie so usually i will put hot water on this first and then you just kind of scrub a dub dub it's kind of like a little massage for your lips too. Look at that. Like all the blood comes to your lips and they just look better. I don't know. Um, I do this twice a day. I'll do it before. I wear a lot of lipstick on the show. I wear a nice matte lipstick that just goes right into your lips. So I'll do this before and then I'll also do it after just to get rid of it. Now I have so many different lip masks. Make, makes sense. I mean, when you really want this matte lipstick, that's even more important to exfoliate your lips so it's all nice and smooth. And afterwards, it helps to reduce, remove that lipstick, lipstick residue. So I'm a fan of lip scrubs, definitely. Guys, I always put a lip mask on afterwards just for a little bit. I use a lot. Layer it on. I do two eye creams. This one's great. It's for kind of whitening your under eyes a little bit and I get dark circles when I travel so I just pat this in. I am a firm believer that there is no such thing as too much skincare, but there is a such thing as too much makeup. So I think if you take care of your skin well, you won't need as much makeup, at least in my opinion, or for my face. Again, everyone's different. Never, ever drag along your eye. That's something I learned from Riverdale. I'm a fan of eye creams, but she uses two. I mean, nothing wrong with that. And good tip, you know, tap gently. You don't want to cause wrinkles there. Always pat. So we're going to do a little primer now. Look at this tiny, adorable, cute little primer. Just a little bit. That's actually not a little bit. That's a lot, but I really like a lot. So season one, I lived with Miss Lily Reinhardt, who plays Betty on the show. And I didn't know a lot about skincare back then, or else I guess I thought I did, but I didn't. And so she would extract my blackheads for me, and she taught me a lot about skincare in those moments, so very thankful to her. If I've learned anything from being on the show with so many amazing, strong, and powerful women, um, we all have such different skin that honestly, 
just do what works for you. So like sometimes Lily will show me something that doesn't work at all for my skin. Cam uses a lot of products that would never work on my skin. So it's all about finding what works for you. True there, definitely. Just because, you know, someone works for someone doesn't mean it will work for you. That's why I don't like like product recommendations without testing it all. Say get the smaller bottle, test if it works, then buy a bigger bottle. Now I have a neck cream. I'm 25 and I have a neck cream. Just a couple of pumps of that. My mom always puts her products all the way down onto her collarbone. And I feel like you learn a lot of your great beauty secrets from your mom. My mom has a lot of sunspots and so does my dad from growing up in South Africa. And so that's why sunscreen is so important in my daily routine because they are so deathly afraid of beginning sunspots. In fact, my dad had skin cancer a couple years ago. Um, and that's from being in South African sun for so long. And so suns I'm so big on sunscreen for that reason. Now that I've got my skincare all on and this is the base for my makeup, I'm just gonna roll it all in one more time because I don't wanna have a puppy face. <laughs> no. Well, really, <laughs> she does use a lot of applicators, but what I'm thinking, then you gotta clean all that stuff too, so it's just even more time and more. Now this is where it gets a little weird, okay? I typically would travel with perfume bottles. However, I've really gotten into rose oil recently, and this is what I wear for perfume. I love it, this is a small one. I also travel with this amazing essential oil roll-on that I got in Vancouver. This is the Lotus scent, and I will just put it on my temples, and it just kind of calms me down, it feels so good. And I also just travel with this in my purse often. It smells really good, so if I just want a little touch-up, I can throw some of this on. I'm a fan of um, aromatherapy myself. I have this like um, pressed solid perfume that comes in a coconut uh, butter base and then you can just rub it a little bit. Don't rub coconut on your face, but if it's in the perfume, that's different. That's a whole another story, don't let me get into it. But yeah, I mean, I don't like putting essential oils or fragrance on face or skin, but if it's just a tiny bit that's for aromatherapy, that's different. I love aromatherapy and we use them. And then we'll do a little rose oil. This is potent, so I only put a little bit on. Anything rose scented is my favorite thing on the planet. That's why I have rose and vanilla deodorant. Vanessa Morgan, who is my girlfriend on the show and also is my best friend in real life, got me into natural deodorants and taught me a lot about why Regular deodorants aren't as good for you. So I found this one. This is the only one that works for me right now. I'm gonna put this one off camera because you don't need to see my underarms, but see you in a sec. Next up. Next up. I'm not a fan of natural deodorants. That whole theme that aluminum is poison, it's not really correct. Um, Dr. Dre made a good video on that, so I recommend watching it. And maybe someday I'll make one too. But just to tell you, because this video is already going to be really long, so I'm trying to be short, that um, don't buy like maybe the shittiest deodorant, but if you buy just a normal deodorant, you know, maybe not from the dollar store, but like just, I don't know, I like. I only use like Dove or, you know, I have natural deodorants too, but they just don't, unfortunately, don't clog up my pores where I still perforate too much and then it gets smelly. So definitely, um, I don't see anything wrong. There are studies done that it's totally safe. It just, I think, tells that they're not safe, but let's keep watching. Uh, hydration. I always forget to drink water in the morning. I'm trying to get better about it. I take a probiotic every morning. Very good for your skin. Your gut health is the first thing that will make your skin break out. So I take two of these. So I've been plant-based my whole life. My parents raised me like that. They're both cute little hippies from South Africa. Let's get to makeup. So. This is the Chanel Khaki Intense. I just do it on the outside and I like to just get it on that you know that place where you would typically put eyelashes, that kind of space between where your eyelashes and your eyelids start? I like to do just the tiniest line right in there, and then I'll smoke it out. So that just gives me a little definition at the lash line. I don't like too much there. I used to always do my foundation first and then put a bunch of fingerprints all over my face, so now I start with eyes. <laughs> Look at how red my face is. This is my life. Redheads, you get it. This is what we have to deal with. So I go with a little eyeshadow next. For a day like today, I like to live in the 
neutrals world, so brown, a little shimmery. I actually used to be a competitive dancer for a really long time, so I was doing my own makeup at a very young age. I'm not gonna say I was good at it. I wasn't when I was a kid, but it was very sweet. So far it looks cute, you know, smoked out eyeliner, I'm always a fan of that, especially for every day, and a um, cool neutral shadow so far looks cute. It was nice. I really wanted to just do it myself, so my mom would let me. Very cute. Um, so trial and error was really my thing. Um, and just watching. I love to learn from makeup artists. I watch everyone who does my makeup. Watch a lot of YouTube videos. I watch a lot of these videos. I just like to learn tips and tricks from everyone. Before I started dating my boyfriend, he had like a little cute skincare regimen and now he has a full like 10 step routine and it makes me very proud. He travels with it whenever he travels. It's very cute. He's into it. I love that. Now he lets me do his blackheads. It's taken a long time, but it's very satisfying. I love popping nipples. I don't know. It's gross. I'm sorry. Any users. Because that's what uh, girlfriends and wives do to their husbands. They make them do skincare. That's what I'm trying to help my husband with. And he's gotten a little bit better. You all know this thing? Eyelash curler? My eyelashes are a little wild sometimes. Uh, I don't do anything particular to them. I do really like though, I love using a primer. An eyelash primer is huge for me. So this is, it's used so much that the name of it's rubbed off actually. So I don't know what it is, but it's- Oh my God, I'm so glad that people are, I'm, all these videos I've been watching, the people use eyelash primers. I'm a fan of eyelash primers. They moisturize your lash, they plump up your look of the lash, especially if you're not gonna put false eyelashes, that's excellent to amp up the look. And like I said, like, for example, Jane Ardella, we sell an hour online shop. It has natural ingredients, so it's like a, it's, it's like a conditioner for your eyelashes too. Healthy for you. It's kind of like when you prime your skin. Just get your skin ready for whatever you're gonna do. So I feel like this gets my eyelashes ready for the day. So funny all the faces we make, isn't it? I'm like, I'm gonna let that dry. This is um, CC cream. I think I have too much on my fingers, so I'm gonna just get a little bit. I went crazy with it today. But I love it because it goes on kind of heavy, but it really shears out. Yeah, this is like essentially my foundation. And then I'll go on with a little concealer. I'm not crazy about the super foundation you look on my day to days, especially again, because I wear so much makeup on the show. It's just important to me to let my skin breathe. And it kind of just feels like another layer of moisturizer, which I love. Never forget the neck. Wipe your fingers off. Concealer. Always wipe the excess off. That's one thing about these tubed products is there's just way too much comes out. I don't like too much, and I think I might have just put too much on, but again, I think the best tools that you have, you have. I love how, you know, Every day, guys, you don't need the heavy foundation, and I totally agree with her. That's what I do too. I just use like a glow time from Gina Dolo or Matt. Even their foundation is very light, or just a little bit powder. You don't need to clog it up every day or any time for that matter, unless you know movies. That's a little different, but are right here, baby. You're born with them. Now this is strange. I use a dry beauty blender. I think it works way better. For those of you who have never used this adorable little tool, typically you should run it under water and squeeze it until it gets full like a regular sponge. I accidentally used a dry beauty blender on my face on Riverdale one day and it got my concealer in my face so much better than a wet one. I feel like wet ones sometimes pick up extra makeup off your face. Give it a try and then talk to me. If you still hate it, totally fair. My first mascara. Now that my primer is dry on my lashes, I'm gonna go in. This is one of my tried and true mascaras. I've been using it forever. Okay, this is something I discovered a while ago and just can't live without. It's a lash comb, but it's curved. Do you see that? So it goes to the contour of your eye. Here, I'll get nice and close for you. 
just really spreads them out. It's night and day. The hardest thing in life is trying not to get mascara. She has long eyelashes, but um, yeah, I mean, that's another extra step that uh, I skip sometimes. But you know, hey, if she wants to do it, that's cool. It does improve the look, but I don't always do it. Do you guys? Post in the comments down below. And your eyelids after you've put on eyeshadow. Back to the other side. I like to go with the flow, so I'll just look at whatever products I have and pick. So I've got all these different blushes here. I think I'm gonna go with a more peachy color today. So I'll get a little bit. I really get most of it off too. I just think it's a nice way to do a natural sheen. So I really focus up the apples of the cheeks and then I'll kind of blend it out a little bit around. So it looks nice and crisp, fresh. We like fresh. I went a little crazy, so I'm gonna go back in with my favorite dry beauty blender. This is the holy grail. And even worse for everyone who's watching who knows what they're doing with makeup. I'm gonna use a dry beauty blender. Sorry. So here we go. A nice little dip in there. Picks up a good amount of product and I just bake away. Here we are. I don't really do contour, but I will carve my cheekbone out with the powder. I don't really bake my forehead because my forehead gets really dry, but I'll just put a little bit on my forehead. And then we wait. I leave it on for two, three minutes. Sometimes I'll do my mascara around this time or I'll do my eyebrows, whatever I feel. Right now I'm gonna take my hair out because we've got some time. So I don't really do a lot to my hair, which I think people get mad about for some reason. I have a couple products I can show you that I love. I'll put in a little hair oil, just a tiny bit. My hair, I don't bake. Uh, I think it just adds excess powder that is gonna possibly gonna have possibility to decrease too much. I think just adding some finishing setting powder enough, you don't really need to back on that much that it's contours your face. I think you should use contour. That's what it's meant to contouring your face. Powders like this are setting powders. They're not meant for really, I mean, that's what everyone learned from Kim Kardashian, you know, but. Hair loves oil. I don't know if your hair speaks to you, but mine does. And I can literally feel when my hair likes something. I know you're all looking at me like I'm crazy right now, but I truly feel like my hair is telling me like, yes, yes, this is so good, more, more, you know? Just like when you drink coffee and you want more, I feel like it's the same thing. This is hair coffee. I don't even know if it looks any different, but it smells amazing. And it makes your hair feel so good. So we're just gonna go right onto this. Look at all that, just wipe it right off. And it kind of does like carve out my I don't even know. Well, that's cute. I've started to using leave-in conditioner on my hair and I do like the difference so it's a little similar i don't put oils because i don't like that how it makes my hair look my hair tend to get really oily anyways but um because i work in the office with oils, sometimes they'll just get on my face on their own so that is kind of good but i don't like the look as much but it's healthy for your hair though it smells amazing and it makes your hair feel so good we're just gonna go right onto this. Look at all that, just wipe it right off. And it kind of does like carve out my cheekbone a little bit in a natural way, especially for meetings. I don't wanna have a ton of makeup on even though I just baked my face. So I'm sure it looks like I have a lot on, but. Before I do anything else, my face feels cracked and dry. So we're gonna put in a little beauty mist. This is so dirty. <laughs> you can tell I really use it. So here we are. Um, I just get a little bit of this. It's honestly clear. It kind of just shows up clear. And I just put it right on my cheekbones. What I like about it is it's, again, not a powder. And I think it just gives you a healthy glow. It doesn't look like too much. I really, I use this often on the red carpet. I don't use highlighter on the show often because it just reflects light. It's not good for TV shows and movies. It's really just good for photos. I'm gonna go back in with a little taupe for under my eye on a flat brush. Brows and lips. I'm a redhead. Been my whole life. Natural. 
I think the hardest thing for me has been finding the right eyebrow products because I find a lot of times people, makeup artists, like to make my eyebrows brown, which doesn't look right. So I'm gonna share with you my secrets. Redheads, notes. This is the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in Warm Blonde. I go in just and create the shape with this and then I go in with Maybelline Micro Pencil in Auburn. So then I just go in with this tiny little detail pencil. Eyebrow gel. This. Um, Tanner Dell has great brow powders that we carry. Um, and they have this like auburn color. The owner of that company is a very, very blonde person. So, I, and maybe a little redhead. So I think their products are really suitable for redheads. It's actually harder for me to find. They don't really have my shade there, but they have everyone that blonde, brunette, like light color shades. So check that out if you're a redhead. My my pencil in Auburn. So then I just go with this tiny little detail pencil. Eyebrow gel. This I've been using forever. It's the Pacifica Stunning Brows in Golden Brown. Redheads, this is the holy grail. Last, but certainly not least, is lips. Now, because I wear a lot of lipstick on the show, I wouldn't typically do a lip on like a regular day, but because I'm going to meetings, why not? This is just a very small, scrape in the pie that is my lips, but these are the four that I have out right now. I'm into the peachy thing today, so. I don't typically wear lipstick in real life, which I find really weird, and I think it's because of Cheryl, um, but I will reach for a red sometimes. I'm actually really into this, which is like a red lip balm. It's the Glossier Cherry Balm, um, and I think it brings a little bit of a red into your lip without going too red. But Cheryl's taught me a lot about taking risks with color and fashion. I don't like too much. She didn't put any lip primer, I'm surprised, in all this 38-step uh, routine. But she did exfoliate them. Um, I like lip primers. It helps the lipstick and lip liner stay back. color on my lips my day to day. Last, I'll put a little bit of this in the middle. Just to bring like a plumpness to them. Thanks so much for watching. That's it for my makeup look for the day. I am so excited to be on Vogue Beauty Secrets. I've been watching this forever. I'm a big fan. I hope you guys learned something from me. You could think I'm kooky or crazy and that's totally fine, but this is what I do. It works for me. Hopefully something will work for you as well. See you soon. Hey girl, woman. Um, let me know guys what you think in the comments down below. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a brilliant day. Bye, and please click that subscribe button if you like to see more. And I'm on Instagram at Yolita Brilliant, and my website is yolitabrilliant.com, and we have an online shop too. By the way, my face is a little peeling because I did a face peel, so just a little disclaimer. Thanks for watching again. Bye.